Good morning, gang. Happy Thursday. So, all right. Wanted to talk about this one today, and this is something that y'all might want to be aware of. Now, a couple of days ago, I think it was Tuesday, uh, I was talking about the hackathon, if you will, and everything that happened with JBS Foods, and we all know Colonial Pipeline and everything like that. So I want to go back and remind you guys about Texas a couple of months ago when the deep freeze hit, okay? And Texas wasn't ready whatsoever. And of course, what happened? The power grid went and they had all this variable rate power and everything and people were getting $9,000 a day electric bills and all this sort of stuff, right? So don't forget that going into what I'm about to tell you. So here's the fun part that found out this week. We all know how much the Chinese are trying to take over the United States. And like I said the other day, we've we've seen the takeover of Smithfield Foods. You know, we've seen the Chinese buying farmland all over the place, you know, not only in the United States, but all of North Africa, uh, you know, doing all that. You know, then, of course, the attack on our infrastructure that we're seeing from hackers. Now, we also know that AOC and all the other morons on the left are pushing for all this renewable energy, which, of course, we all know doesn't work, okay? It is just, in case you all wonder where I stand on this, great for supplemental energy, but completely unreliable, okay? If it's not windy, turbines don't work. If it's not sunny, solar doesn't work, okay? But, you know, the green energy crowd wants to, you know, get rid of all coal, all nuclear, all gas and everything like that. And we're supposed to somehow, you know, maintain life and heat our homes and have vehicles run on solar and wind power and all this sort of, you know, mumbo jumbo, you know, like I said, perfectly acceptable for backup power. But most of y'all know, that even if you've got solar arrays in your house and stuff like that, and you're living off grid, you got to be very, very careful with the amount of electricity you use because, gee, if it's a hot day, maybe we can't turn on the air conditioner. Gee, if it's a really cold day, maybe we can only turn the thermostat up to 60 uh, because otherwise we're going to run out of run out of juice to power whatever we got. Okay, so this is where China comes into play. There's a company called GH America Energy, okay, based out of Houston. They are a wholly owned subsidiary of the Chinese Guanghe Industry Investment Group, which since 2015 has purchased about 140,000 acres in Valverde County, Texas. Now, where's Valverde T County, Texas? Probably most of y'all don't know, okay. It's out in the country, you know, surrounded, I mean, sparsely populated, you know, a lot of ranches and everything like that. But the one thing that is there is Laughlin Air Force Base, okay? And this is where a lot of Air Force pilots are trained. Well, GH America Energy wants to turn this 140,000 acres into a huge wind farm. Now, a good portion of the wind energy comes from West Texas, all right, because it's windy out there in the desert. Okay, and that's fine. Well, they also want to put solar arrays on the same 140,000 acres. I mean, think about how big 140,000 acres is, okay? You're talking about, you know, potentially thousands of wind turbines. Well, what's this is going to do? It destroys the natural beauty of the area. It's going to kill a lot of birds. And I've mentioned many times that, you know, as stupid as it is, the lifespan of a wind turbine, which is about 30 years, does not produce enough energy to offset its cost in before it's retired. Okay. So just making up numbers here to give you guys an example. If it costs $100 to create a one wind turbine, in 30 years, that one wind turbine will generate about $90 worth of electricity. Okay. So, you know, economically, it's stupid. There is no other way to put it. Okay. The bigger problem is it's owned by the Chinese. And this comes in with two 
big problems. Okay. First off, just what we need, the Chinese in control of our energy. Okay. Texas, you know, again, let's say you thought, uh, what was it February was bad when the, the lights went out and the heat went out and everything like that? Imagine some guy in China going, click, we're pissed off at Texas. We're just going to shut the energy off. Okay, again, this is the way they the Chinese do business. Extortion, all right? You're going to sell us all those cattle for cheap. Otherwise, click. You're going to sell us all that oil for cheap. Otherwise, click, okay? Big problem there. They can easily grind Texas to a halt with this, all right, or at least parts thereof. Now, where do you think that they're going to try to get the power contracts, if you will? Laughlin Air Force Base, maybe, because it's right there, okay? So imagine the Chinese now being in control of the power to one of our Air Force bases where we train our pilots, does that make any sense? Now, as usual, anybody with any common sense wouldn't trust the Chinese as far as they could throw them, okay? As far as you can spit, for that matter. Think about this company, all right? It is owned by a Communist Party me member, uh, Sun Guangjin is the guy's name, okay? He's a billionaire you know, and he owns the company. He's part of the CCP. There's nothing that happens in China, especially business-wise, outside of the borders of China, that is not completely overseen and controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. So now what you have, literally, is the Chinese Communist Party wanting to build wind turbines right next to a U.S. military base where we train fighter pilots. What are the chances that those turbines may be used for, I don't know, a little bit of espionage? Hmm. Gee, I wonder. Okay. Obviously, to build all these turbines, they're not going to hire Americans. They're going to bring in a whole bunch of Chinese, okay? Okay. And so what are you going to have? You're going to have a whole bunch of Chinese in the population around this Air Force base who are going to do what? Spy on everybody, try to talk to pilots, mechanics, whatever it is, to get them to be stool pigeons, I guess, for lack of a better word, to, you know, for, to be spies, okay? This is kind of the way it works. And, you know, going through security clearances and everything, you know, credit, credit rating is very important to getting a security clearance, right? To knowing things. And a lot of guys who would work on uh, fighter jets and stuff would have some sort of security clearance. But with the economy the way it is and the economy tanking left and right, you can bet that there are going to be some soft targets, some guys who may be mechanics, maybe a pilot, who knows, I'm speculating here, who may be a little bit high in debt. And so, you know, some Chinese windmill builder comes up and says, you know, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what there, senior airman, uh, let me, and, you know, what if I give you, you know, give me this information, I'll give you five grand and, you know, kind of help out with your bills or something like that. Then a lot of people will say no, and a lot of people will go to uh, their superiors and let them know what's going on, and this would get shut down. But there's always going to be that one guy who goes, you know what, make it 10, and we got a deal. Not only is the federal government, but the state government idiotic in letting this happen. But the Department of Defense even has something to do with this one, all right? And I'm not only talking about the scenario I just gave you. Again, we're talking about fighter jets and windmills, which are really high, okay? Uh, the easiest way to, to shut this stupidity down is for the DOD to come out and say, 
you know, I'm sorry, a bunch of wind turbines in flight patterns might not be a good idea for the training we do for our fighter pilots. Okay. Uh, let's just hope that Obama didn't kick everybody out, Biden finish it, you know, all the guys at the DOD who may make this decision because, you know, hey, like I said, grease some palms. You know what? Hey there, General. You know, you're part of the Obama regime or the Obama-Biden regime. Eh, well, well, how about if we kick you 20 grand and you make this happen? Think I'm kidding? I ain't. All right? You can go through history and find all sorts of people that have flipped on their country for a couple of bucks. All right? Don't believe me? <clears throat> go look up the Rosenbergs. Uh, yeah. So, but... This is what's going on. This is what your government is allowing to happen or potentially allowing to happen. A, the buying of all this land, 140,000 acres, okay, to the Chinese right next to an Air Force base. Who's that stupid, okay, because foreign investment on uh, land in the United States, if I'm not mistaken, does have to be approved uh, by some sort of government entity, okay, especially a communist government, all right, so there would be that. But... Imagine your electricity is now provided by China. Congratulations, you're screwed. Have a good Thursday. Pinball out.